So as we look at our double clutch, our double shark's fin, the uh, handle, we can't put her all the way down into the lock position because of the prosex um, at the back. It's gonna stop it going into the lock. So I'll put it into the closed already position. And what we have instead is we are backing that up with a couple of alpine butterflies, which obviously can't be pulled into the uh, clutch. Probably doesn't meet the RTFM. Uh, I'll have to check that. But for this situation, it's our most viable option for the shark fin and making sure that we have no single critical point. Everywhere else, all our single critical points have been removed. And now it's removed from the rigging plate as well. We're going directly into that beautiful piece made by Rock Exotica, where we have the removable, removable bar, keeps everything nice and tight and close, orientates our clutch into the right position without the addition of a carabiner. You can see equal tension on both lines. We have somebody manning our rope as the line tender and somebody else using the double clutch in the shark's fin. Let's go to a single hand on that shark fin. Nice. And ready on up, up slow. Okay, guys. Tender, keeping the running end off the working end, applying a little bit of back tension as needed, and a nice double clutch. Tension mirror system, or twin tension system, aka mirrored system. This is a beautiful mirror. If you look at our lines, you can see the tracer running beautifully, equal tension. Much easier to maintain the equal tension this way than if you are um, running with two independent layers. Now we've locked off, they're on the ground, they can put an alpine butterfly into security.